John Swinney. He's only been First Minister for six weeks, but John Swinney must take Scotland's Party of Independence into the fight of its life. The UK is going in a different direction. It's going in the wrong direction. Far too often, the interests of Scotland are ignored altogether. He's calling for a massive cash injection into the NHS in what he calls the most left-wing manifesto. But is the prospect of independence fading away? Well, as expected, the manifesto has independence, page one, line one. But with the SNP poised to lose seats to Labour, their signature policy, separating from the rest of the UK, is looking harder to deliver. The First Minister said if they win over half the seats in Scotland, 29, it's game on for another referendum. So you could lose nearly 20 seats and that would still be a mandate for independence. To a lot of people, that will sound ludicrous. Well, what I'm saying is that if we win a majority of seats, that empowers the Scottish Government to take forward negotiations with the United Kingdom Government about how we become independent. But that will only come about if the SNP does well. But if you don't do well, if you win fewer seats than Labour, then it's off the agenda for now. Well, what I want to make sure is that people are attracted to vote for the Scottish National Party in this election, and that's the proposition we put to them in this election. And who'd pay for more NHS spending? So you're suggesting that this entire cash injection would be funded by higher taxes? Well, I, I think that's the, 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 the rational way for this to be addressed, because we've got to invest in our public services. Scotland is still split down the middle on being independent. Edinburgh East and Musselburgh is SNP held, but among the beachgoers were switchers from all sides. I used to be more inclined like SNP, but after COVID, it kind of changed my mind about it because I don't really think right now is the time for independence. Well, Conservatives have made much a, a mess of the government and SNP have had three leaders in the last two years, so they didn't seem to be any better, so let's give somebody else to try. Lack of personal integrity, I think, within the Conservative Party. Mm. And I uh, admire Starmer as an individual and he's not too left-wing and he's had a proper job. But some sticking with the SNP. Not voting for independence, but I'm voting for Scotland. The Prime Minister, visiting a power station, said the SNP had the wrong priorities. A vote for anyone who's not a Conservative candidate at this election is just a vote for higher taxes. Hello. Oh. Hello. Keir Starmer at a supermarket in Wiltshire, pushing the case for change. Well, look, there's not much difference between the SNP and the Tories. They're both running on unelected leaders. They've both got a dismal record um, in office. With the polls looking bleak for the Nationalists and their record under scrutiny, this election likely to leave them with little to celebrate. Tamara Cohen, Sky News, Edinburgh.